everybody, and welcome to my new DVD called The Ultimate Soup, Pork Roast and Ice Cream Drummer. I'm Kalle Matisen, and I'm one of the leading drummers in uh, Brøndshøj, which is a small city just outside of uh, Copenhagen, but I'm one of the leading drummers there. And this is the new video where I'm gonna check out all the things you need to know about being a soup, pork roast and ice cream drummer, which is the new black. And what is that kind of a drummer? In Denmark we have a saying called Sobestainis. And that is translated soup, pork roast and ice cream drummer. And that is, it is actually a drummer who can play all sorts of party music. And now I'm going to show you some tricks to become a really good party drummer. When you play these kind of parties where music isn't the most important thing, you can actually play whatever you want because nobody's listening. And that is a really good exercise and that is exercise number one for the soup, pork, roast and ice cream drummer. Uh, I can play a song now by Whitney Houston and... Uh, Uh, when I've played the chorus one time, I can actually start to uh, just rehearse fills that I can't play yet, just because uh, nobody's listening, so nobody cares. With somebody, I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Everybody is dancing, I can see it, and uh, now nobody is listening to me, so now I can rehearse. That's a new film that I can't play, that's also this. Just to get my uh, two-stroke roll better, I can play again the one one one. Good. And the chorus. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. And now everybody's really dancing. So now I can try some double pedal. And now uh, you, of course, are thinking, how uh, is it that you are such a good drummer and such a good singer at the same time? It's because I found out that if you want to become rich in the music world, you have to be a one-man band so that you get all the money yourself. So I've, uh, I've made some, a couple of uh, exercises to become a really good singer and drummer at the same time. Uh, the first uh, little exercise... Uh, it's actually a lot of exercise because uh, this is an exercise where you start off with a simple beat. In this case, it's a shuffle beat. And then you sing a song uh, uh, while you're playing this beat and uh, start off easy and then uh, it becomes, uh, then you have to become more and more free with the voice. Uh, I will do it gradually. Uh, of course, when you practice, you have to do it over a long period of time. But I've done it a lot, so uh, I can do it really, really well. Check this out. One for the money, two for the show, and three to get ready now. Go, cat, go, but don't you step on my blue suit shoes. Well, you can do anything, but they all for my blue suit shoes. You can knock me down, step in my face, slam my name all over the place. Anything that you wanna do, but hon uh, honey, lay off my shoes and don't you step on my blue shoes. Oh, uh -huh. well, you can do anything, but lay off of my blue suede shoes. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, ha uh ha. -huh. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, ha uh ha. -huh. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, ha uh ha. -huh. Well, you can do anything, but lay off.
Yeah, that was pretty wild because I lost the stick, but I just kept on playing. Uh, things like that actually happen on a gig also, and you have to be able to like work through it. And I did that right now, and that's because I've played a lot of gigs, and I'm uh, pretty good at that stuff. But check out how I uh, developed the voice. Started off easy and got more and more complicated while I still played some pretty complicated drums too. Uh, you have, to, of course, to uh, work on this, but when you get really good at it, you get a lot of money because you get all the money at a gig. <laughs> 